That was a weird way to start a video. You know guys, seeing that horrendous music-based cartoon reminds me of something of possibly greater or lesser entertainment value. I'm sure I'm not the only one who does this, but sometimes I just stay up at night wondering... Whatever happened to Puffy Amiyumi? I remember back then during an episode of Teen Titans seeing a commercial of that Japanese pop rock band. Puffy Amiyumi, a powerful new musical force from Japan. Puffy Amiyumi are here with their new CD, Nice. I thought nothing of it. The ads mention how they wrote and performed the Teen Titans theme. Their songs include the likes of Love So Pure, Your Love Is Our Drug, Angel of Love, Closet Full of Love, and Cake Is Love. The gritty hardcore nature that our music was very well emphasized with those titles and the inclusion of bullet holes at the end of their commercial, Puffy Amiyumi Ain't Nothing to Fuck With. Wasn't until months later in 2004 where I heard about that band once again getting their own animated series. Thought nothing of it. It was pretty cool, I guess. It did get me exposed to their music, which I like and eventually forgot about after the show vanished and the network removed all traces of it from their site, never airing the third season. Personally, I believe that was Andre 3000's doing, trying to move in on the cartoon music scene. Didn't work out so well. I assume the series was made because Puffy were the only ones available to the channel and Cartoon Network wanted to have their own music artist with a TV show like Disney. Except in cartoon form. Surprise, there hasn't been a Gorillaz animated series yet. Really, they could have called this series anything else. I highly doubt the real Puffy Amiyumi were a Goody Two Shoes or a Hot Topic Shopper or 12 years old or spoke perfect English. But if you watch an episode, you'll see how involved the real Puffy were. Just watch this clip from an episode that I specifically chose to showcase since it was the first one on the DVD I Netflixed. Um, okay, Sudoku, yeah, party on. There's their catchy theme song. I prefer the Spanish version. I love how they include a side-by-side -side comparison. Here is a dance from Japan called... Ah, don't yell at me, I'm listening! Um, yeah... So each episode has three cartoons in which the characters not at all based off them are voiced by completely different people. Remember the time you traded the bus for magic pony beans? They would have worked if you'd clapped hard enough. At least the cartoon versions won't yell at me. In the cars. So in this episode, Puffy Amiyumi score a gig at a Stupido convention. Think of this as the flea market knockoff brand of Yu-Gi-Oh! that would air on four kids containing poor dubbing and 80% of the characters voiced by Dan Green. What's with all the dorks? Oh! It appears to be a competition for the hot new battle card game, Stupido! What a lucky day for us! If by lucky you mean unfortunate and embarrassing, I'd have to agree. Now while insulting the gig and the audience they're paid to perform for, they both fall in love with King Chad, the reigning champion of Stupido. <sighs> I must get a closer look at that scepter. Hey, tone it down. I thought this was a kid's show. Excuse me? What can I say? I'm a sucker for bad boys. Well, you can forget it. The cute card shark is mine! Not if I bag him first! Now really, Puffy? Two famous Japanese rock stars and you'll argue over king of a knockoff children's card game at the social hierarchy level, eight notches below Beyblade and Duel Masters? King Bob was twice the king this guy ever was, and King Bob's beepers was three times the king any of them ever were. I'm pretty sure they were the same person. You know, I am an internet reviewer and champion of Superman 64. I demand to know where my Japanese rock star is swooning over me are at. Hey there, King! In the market for a peppy rock and roll queen? Hmm, never heard of that card before. But I'm always looking to add to my stupid old arsenal. Yep, this guy is hopeless. Now, for the rest of the episode, Puffy decided to duel each other to win the heart of his cards, but we'll skip over that with a montage. <laughs> There's no backing down, the heart of the cards is 
where magic is found. We played this game before, but never quite this way. It's like an all-out war with monsters at all. believe I still have that CD lying around. So Ami ends up winning, only to find out she only earned the chance to compete against King Chad. Depressing reality ensues. Prepare to kiss my royal feet. Uh, but I haven't even kissed your royal lips yet. Kiss? I don't want to kiss. Stupido is my only love. So you don't want to be my boyfriend? Say goodnight, amateur. Super Mega Gold Edition Dragon Penguin Lipstick Card! Wait! Rubber Ducky Marshmallow? Wow, what a pimp. Puffy then realize they don't need that total stud and make up their plutonic friendship in a very ambiguous hug under a rainbow. So this explains why one of their songs is called Closet Full of Love. Man, they had a cartoon, did the Teen Titans theme, had a parade float. I mean, once you got a parade float, you've got it all. But now they're gone forever. Was the show awful? Nah. I thought it was pretty entertaining with how ridiculous it sometimes got. And I did also like the abstract backgrounds along with the stylish main character designs. Sure, every other character looks like they're on their first drop design. What's wrong with that guy's head? Had no relationship to the actual band and was hated by so many people, but it did help broaden their music to a western audience. You can really applaud CN for taking a chance with a foreign genre of music of an unknown to the US band. The cartoon may have been the last the west ever hears from Puffy Amiyumi, but they're still making their music overseas. They probably secretly hate this show and subconsciously, I might too. But there's one thing I'm pretty sure of, and that's Yu-Gi-Oh! still totally blows. Nani! It's about the music. It's about the adventure. It's all about fun. It's Japan's biggest pop stars in their own animated adventures. Turning the world upside down and making up the rules as they go. The world is yours. The Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi Show. Friday, 7.30. Only on Cartoon Network.